Welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy. Today we're starting a new type of segment at Dad Labs called DIY Dads. So get on your safety goggles, get out your power tools, because you are in the Dad Labs. Today we're gonna to teach you to make a game called Cornholing. It's an outdoor bean bag toss game that all kids of all ages can play, and it's also really easy for dads to make. I'm gonna have a list of all these materials on my blog over at dadlabs.com, so you don't need to write any of this down. First of all, you're gonna need an eight foot two by four, a two foot by four foot sheet of plywood. So here I have half inch. You can actually get three quarter inch to make it even a little sturdier. Plywood comes in four foot by eight foot sheets, which are really huge and hard to transport. So if you buy a whole sheet of plywood, have them rip it at the hardware store, have them cut it for you into force. Better yet, you can buy pre-cut two foot by four foot sections. Here I've got one and five eight inch coarse drywall screws. They tend to stick pretty well and I've got a bunch of them sitting around the house already. Um, you could also use a hammer and nail for this part if you didn't want to use screws. And then finally, two lag bolts to really tie the whole thing together so it doesn't fall apart. The tools you're going to need are a circular saw, but in this case I'm going to use a radial arm saw. You'll also need a jigsaw as well as a drill. And if you don't have a drill, you could use a hammer and nails, but every guy needs a drill. So let's get started. First, cut two pieces to 48 inches in length, and then cut two pieces to 21 inches in length, and then cut two pieces to 12 inches in length. Next, mount the plywood onto the four two by fours using screws. This is a great step that you can do with your kids. Get the screws started, let them drive it home. Next, take your shorter lengths of two by four and drill a hole into the side of the platform and into the two by four. Drive through a bolt and then fasten the risers to the face. Drill them such that you have a little bit of maneuverability in order to make this part level with the ground. Final step, you need to cut a six inch hole in the face using a jigsaw. Take a plate, get your kids to trace a circle, drill a big hole in the circle, and then use a jigsaw to cut out the hole. Since plywood tends to make a lot of splinters, sandpaper is a must. Well, there you have it, a platform built to official corn holing specs. And yes, there are official specs. If you want to build one that's a little bit lighter and easier for kids to move around, notice I've got one right here. It doesn't have the wood on the side. It's simply a two by four cut to an angle and screwed directly in. I've also put more holes in it, which not only helps on weight, but gives kids a chance of better success when they're playing the game. If you want to make one even lighter than all this, you can get a pre-cut two by two foot just like this. I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Baby Bjorn, some of the best baby gear on the planet. We'll see you next time on Gear Daddy and all week long at dadlabs.com.